Ladies and gentlemen, it's Rick. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. And before we get into this clown, before we talk about this guy, I need to just make a statement. I need to make this very clear. My generation, okay, I'm 24 years old, a male in America in the year of 2024. My generation sucks. My generation sucks. And I feel like a lot of the people older than me will agree to that. We suck when it comes to work effort, when it comes to values, when it comes to morals, when it comes to just life in general, all we care about is this, this phone, this computer. We don't care about anything else. And all we want to do is make as much money as possible with the least amount of effort, which I guess, hey, God bless you, man. I, I might be the one that's wrong. I want to work for my money. That's why I continue to work and then do this. My schedule is packed nonstop, but I'm a little different. It is what it is. This guy is another one of these examples as to why my generation is ruining everything. We can find something so great, such like Call of Duty, that was amazing. Used to be so fucking good. Activision, the people that were hired into Activision, people my age, ruined it. And then people that are content creators who are my age will ruin it even more. And this is what we get. We have a guy named Saxu. 287,000 subscribers on YouTube. 81,000 followers on Twitch. This guy is a Warzone Rebirth Island reverse boosting bitch. Now, let me make this very clear. This guy is disgusting. He is very good at this game. Very good. Movement, aim, everything he does is very good. But, not gonna lie, he's a reverse boosting bitch. This is him on Call of Shame's channel. Shout out to Call of Shame. This is him two days ago. He's got two different bot accounts. Honey Pack Demon level six at that time. Dash Dash level 13. I don't know what the difference is between these accounts. Maybe he three boxes. So this is one with, with another PC. I have no idea, but I'm seeing this and that's obvious what's going on. Now, I have an issue with this because one, he's way too good to be in these lobbies. All right. Congrats to him. He doesn't hide his VODs on his Twitch. If you guys go to my Twitch and my YouTube, I don't hide my live streams. If you haven't followed my Twitch, the fuck you doing? Shout out to him. He doesn't hide his VODs, which is awesome. And he doesn't hide his screen. But let's make this very clear. This is for what? 10 seconds you see this? 10 seconds you see this lobby. And then when he gets into the game, he backs that account out. So everybody that's just tuning into the stream, they don't know what's going on. They don't know that he's doing this because he's not admitting to it. He doesn't have it in the bottom right saying he's reverse boosting this and that. Not everybody knows. Therefore, people will continue to think he's amazing at this game, which he's very good at this game, which is another issue. He is ruining the gaming experience for little fucking kids, disabled people. Not even joking. He is playing in lobbies that are so bad, it's not even entertaining. I don't know how people find this entertaining. Somebody in the comment section, let me know. How is playing against little kids, terrible players, entertaining? How is it entertaining to watch? I would never watch it. I'd be watching these gameplays be like, dude, this is a joke. This is a joke. If you guys go to my YouTube, never hide my screen. Don't need to. Go absolutely off. Get fucking shit on. Do okay. I have it. I have everything that you guys can see. I have everything that all of us experience. Good gameplays, bad gameplays, okay gameplays. That's how real Call of Duty is nowadays. But these guys, doesn't matter what they do. They will fucking go crazy. 20, 30, 40, 50 kill bombs in Warzone like it's no problem. I, if I wanted to, and then explain to me, if you guys would love to see this, I'll do it. If it's, if it's entertaining, if this is the next way to go, I'm not going to do it. But if it's the next way to go, should I go in a private match on my next stream and play seven recruit bots on shipment and get nukes every game? Is that entertaining? Because that's literally what these guys are doing. It's literally what these guys are doing. What a fucking joke. Makes no sense to me. And he here is again, every single game, reverse boosting. Not hiding his screen, congrats. He gets a plus there, but again, there's nothing on the bottom right that says I'm reverse boosting. There's nothing that is telling the new people that come in the game that don't see this part of the stream, they're not telling them what's going on. I don't care how open you are about it. I don't care if you mention it one time a stream. People don't watch back streams like that. They don't do it. They go to where the gameplay is and when you're playing and watching you go crazy. That's, that's just how it is. So I don't care if this little part of the stream is here. I need you at 100% of the time saying what you're doing. What I also have an issue with is this guy, apparently, to call a shame, tweeted about him being permabanned. If you could see this, it says he was permanently banned, and this is Saxu's Twitter, 
talking about it. So he was permanently banned in Call of Duty, apparently, according to him. According to him. And he has this many accounts that you're about to see on Battle.net. That many accounts. How many is that? Can we count that? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's probably six more at the bottom. 12 plus accounts that were probably perma banned. And he just kept making a new one, a new one, a new one because Warzone is free. That's okay. I, I just don't. I don't get it. Look at all these accounts. Shout out to Call of Shame again. What is the problem here? What are we doing? My generation sucks. We suck. We love to take the easy way out. We love to cheat our way to fame so we can make money sitting on our ass playing a fucking video game. What are we doing in society? Why are we allowing this to happen, Activision? Why are we as a community allowing this guy to continue to keep growing? Hey, shout out to him. Congrats. Get your bag, brother. I get it. You guys don't think it's fucking cheating. I mean, I'll show you right now. Is reverse boosting cheating? In Call of Duty. I mean, I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. Let's go. Let's go to uh let's go to boosting. I shouldn't have done that. Boosting Activision TOS, if I can count. Or if I could uh spell. If I could spell here. How many times do I have to show you guys this? Any user who colludes with another user, okay, his bot account to exploit the game for the purpose of gain XP, have good gameplay, prestige, game score, weapon level, and game lock is subject to penalty. These guys should be permanently suspended from playing the game online. Why are we not upholding that? Why are we not upholding this Activision? Why are we allowing these guys to take the easy way out when people like me, people like other players that don't do this, why do we have to fucking work our ass off? Which, hey, God bless, I'll keep doing it. I don't need to take the easy way out. I'm not a baby back bitch. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. We're fucking growing. Shout out to you guys. We're almost to 20,000 subscribers. Hit that fucking subscribe button. But why are these guys allowed to do this? Why are these guys allowed to get permanently banned, yet they still can make more and more accounts? When do we actually start to realize that Warzone has ruined this because it's free to play? They don't have to buy the game again. They can just continue to make a new account and just go with it. Why are we allowing this to happen? We're seeing it with Bobby Poff. Bobby Poff is still playing the game. This guy was permanently banned. Permanently banned in Call of Duty. Yet yeah, here he is. Three hours ago, he just got done. He's playing the fucking game. When do we understand that it's a problem? When do we understand that times need to change? It starts with us, people my age. I get it, man. Oh, you're so serious about this, Rick? Yes, because I fucking, I grew up on this game. I know what this game was like back in its fucking prime. I know what it was like. This is not what Call of Duty is like. Streaming, all these weirdos and content creation have ruined this fucking game. Game. Staxu is disgusting. He is so good. He is good enough that I hope he's not using real cheats. He's been permabanned. I don't know why he's been permabanned, but I can see in his movement and his gameplay, he is good enough to play in normal lobbies. If I can get wins in it, imagine him. Somebody better. Why? Why do we have to do this? I don't understand it. I never will. And I hope one day it can change, but you know what? It's not going to unless we keep calling it out. I know a lot of people out there in my comment section saying, I'm not going to do anything by talking about it. Nothing's going to change. How you know? If we just let it happen without anybody talking about it, it definitely will never change. Who knows? I'm seeing a big, big fucking rise in subscribers, rise in views because people are liking what we're doing. Maybe something is changing. I don't know. But the problem is, it's not out there enough because people really think that these guys are nasty at this game. And they think that it's not cheating. I'm sorry, guys. Read the fucking TOS. Jesus Christ. Go follow my Twitch. Subscribe to me. I would appreciate it. I love to see you guys in my live streams. I would love to see you guys in my video comments. All that stuff. Comment below what you guys think. Thank you guys so much. We're almost at 20K. Let's keep on going. I'll see you guys in the next one. The fuck you doing? Peace.